Hello and welcome to Beginner's Tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use Binance DEX. And DEX stands for Decentralized Exchange, which is a cryptocurrency exchange that allows you to be in control of your own assets. Now I have done a demo of Binance DEX back in 2018, but it was only on the testnet version of the blockchain. That means that you could only trade with cryptocurrencies that had no monetary value. And hey, if this is your first time here, my name is Claudio and this is Cryptosh Chain, the channel where I do crypto news, reviews, tutorials and interviews. So please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and don't forget to enable notifications to not miss the next video I upload that may interest you. Now that being said, let's get straight into create the wallet. But I also want to remind you that in the description of the video, you can find the link to this actual exchange if you want to follow what I'm doing on screen to be able to create a wallet and trade on Binance DEX. Again, this is not financial advice. Please check the disclaimer in the description for more info. So let's go to create wallet, which is the very first step once you're on Binance.org here, which is the exchange's website. So once you do that, you should see this page here, the wallet creation tutorial. Just follow the steps here. Click next, next and next again and click I understand. You need to set a password. Now the password does need to contain uppercase characters, uh, letters, special characters and numbers as well. Okay. You need to click I understand. Download the key store file. Now the key store file does contain your private key, which is comes in a text file. So you should save this file somewhere, maybe on a USB stick or somewhere like that, just to be make sure it's safe rather than keep it on your computer. Click continue. Now, this is the 24 keyword mnemonic phrase for your backup. Okay, so you do need to write this down and keep it safe somewhere because without this, you won't be able to recover your funds. It's the equivalent of not being able to access your bank account uh, without uh, having a bank to contact to unlock your account, right? Imagine something would happen to your bank account, like you lost your card or something and you wouldn't be able to get your money out and you had no bank, right? So this is how you have to see this. Uh, basically, you need this mnemonic key phrase because this is how you can access your funds, right? So actually, let me take this down and click continue. Are you sure you have noted that one? Yes, I did. So basically, they're asking you for 13th, 4th and 23rd character. Now, of course, this is always random. OK, so for you, it may show as a, something different. But if you noted that down, you should type in all those uh, words that you've got for the 13th, the 4th and the 23rd. Click continue and that's it. You're done. The wallet is created. Now, I do actually have a wallet open, so hence why I don't need to do this. So I'm just going to go back. I really wanted to show you how it actually works. So I'm actually already logged in. So once you have it, then you just go here. And here you can see the different wallets. You're going to see open wallet instead of change wallet. Okay, I saw change wallet because I already have the wallet open, but you can open another wallet. So for example, you've got the option of a mobile wallet that you can unlock by scanning the QR code. The ledger device, which is the recommended version, it is a harder wallet. It is the safest because your private keys are stored on the ledger. The Trezor device, again, also hardware wallet. Now you do need only Chrome or Firefox to be able to use it. The key store file, which is the key store file, the text file that I showed you here, which I've downloaded, uh, which is a text file. So you can upload that and then unlock the wallet. Of course, you need your wallet password, which you created or the recovery phrase method, which is to type in the 24 passphrase uh, keywords. Right. So once you do that, then you can access your wallet through that method too, right? So again, this is why Trezor or Ledger are the safest methods because you don't have to worry about backing up those private keys, right? All you do is you have the 24 word um, mnemonic phrase. And once you have that, then the private keys are actually stored on your ledger device. OK, so that is pretty cool because you don't need to save that somewhere too, like you do with this uh, text file that we've got now. So let's go back here again and actually show you how you can use this. OK, so here We've got the open orders area, the exchange area, the community, the tools, the explorer. So different variations, the balances. OK, so if you go to balances here on the top right hand corner, 
you should be able to see the wallet address that you've got the balance is the transaction you can change the wallet create a new wallet or close the wallet at the end of the session so let's go to balances for a moment to kind of show you how it looks like so this is the address that you see here this is the estimated value of your holdings if i had any crypto holdings here they would show on their asset okay of course with the name the balance and so on and also the dollar equivalent value of them so that is pretty cool you can also hide the zero balance ones okay so it shows you here all the different tokens that you can hold right and then if you have something of value you can hide the zero balance and it only shows you that right now let's go to uh, the exchange to show you how this looks right so this is the exchange here so of course you are logged in because it shows you here if you go to the this little icon of a person and here we've got the different pairings we're on the bnb pairing there's the btc pairing the old pairing and the fiat pairing now the btc pairing isn't actually bitcoin right this is actually a stable token which is on binance chain because whatever's on binance chain can only be a binance token right and the bnb coin itself as well so on the bnb pairing you've got all the different tokens here as you can see right so let's say for example you wanted to get vrab which is vera uh, there's the buy orders here and there's the sell orders right so let's say for example i wanted to place a buy order at this price or maybe one higher let me go change this to two okay so let's say for example i wanted to do that and i wanted to buy i don't know let's say one thousand it would cost me um 100,000 would cost me 2.35 BNB. Okay, so that's pretty much how it works. And then you click on buy VRAB. And once you do that, then you'll be able to buy the specific token and the transaction will get generated, which means that your BNB from your wallet will leave your wallet and will go to the other person's wallet, right? Because you're actually trading against other people here they can actually place bots here too so you can trade against bots but at the end bots are also people's accounts people's money right so yeah you are trading against other people here and the order gets matched based on what you're covering here of course if you want to place an order at this price and you want to buy let's say 10 bnbs worth of course all of these buy orders all of these sell orders are going to be uh, completed because you're going to be buying through all of them in order to get to this price so Binance is clever enough to know that okay there are orders at low at a lower price so let's let's buy all of the low orders up to the price that the person selected so that is pretty cool and the same for the sell if you want to sell you can sell into the lowest buy order here and maybe de de deduct this by one and then you're going to be the lowest sell order or you can sell into these buy orders here which is quite a bit of a difference in price as you can see but some people do that some people prefer to get out of something as soon as possible so they sell into the buy order in that case right so you can do that so that is pretty cool and here uh, i can't actually see any transactions because i don't have any orders but if you had any orders you could see your open orders here you could cancel the orders from here cancel buy cancel zero cancel all which is pretty cool right so that is pretty much how it looks here and again the other cool thing here is you can see the buys and the sells then you can see only the buys and you can see only the sells to see how far up you can go now it is limited to about 20 here 25 if i'm not mistaken uh, but there are more orders higher up and and lower down of course right so you can only see them when when some of these buy orders get bought into and there aren't any new orders placed and they start to show you the lower ones that are there so that is pretty much how that part looks like so let's go to the explorer now the explorer is where you can see all the different transactions here we can see the current price of bnb 16.21 at the time of doing this video again you can go back to the binance dex from the explorer by clicking on this button here now you can search for any transactions that maybe i don't know maybe you want to check to see if some transaction has arrived maybe it took too long and here we can see all the live transactions right people are canceling orders placing orders canceling orders and so on right we can see all of that here which is pretty cool every single action is on the blockchain explorer and we can also see how many blocks have passed right and which node has verified those blocks as well so that is pretty cool it tells you the names here the transactions the fees that the node has actually taken see 0 0.0001 so that is pretty cool we get all the information in here now if we go to the uh, let me go back here again because i did want to show you one more thing 
Okay, let's go to check out Binance DEX again. Okay, issue token. So if you go to tools and go to issue token, the cool thing about this here, let me close out of it, is that if there are any tokens that are not actually showing in the list on uh, on Binance DEX and maybe you wanted to send them from a different exchange to your wallet and they're not showing in your wallet, then all you need to do is click issue token, type your session password, which is the password of your wallet, and then select the name of the token and the token name, the symbol and the token name, and then it's go it's actually going to show up for you, right? So that is pretty cool. Uh, you can you can actually issue more tokens here yourself too. So this is of course your token list. How many do you have? So for example, let's say that you had um, that the decimal places are like say eight decimals to the to the dot. So in that case, you do need to select that too because only then it will actually show you the tokens. Unless you do that, then you're not going to see any tokens, right? So that is really you know it's not really going to be used here. It's very unlikely that you're going to have to use this feature, but just know that it's there, right? So let's go back here. So yeah, this is pretty much again the exchange like I showed you. That is the balances section. And at the end you can close out of your wallet here. And the option is, are you sure you wanna close out of the wallet? You get the pop-up, you click confirm, and that's it, you're done. This is pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you currently trading on Binance DEX? And if you enjoyed the video, once again, please don't forget to hit that like button. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.